This is a guide on reinstalling the front assembly on the Apple iPhone 7 Plus. For the installation process, we'll need the following tools. A heat gun, a plastic pick, a pair of tweezers, an X-Acto knife, a small tri-wing screwdriver, a small flat screwdriver, and a small Phillips screwdriver. The front assembly consists of the frame, the glass digitizer, and the LCD screen. You will need to replace the entire front assembly if any of these components are broken. It is important to turn the phone off before you start. Hold the power button and confirm the shutdown on screen. The first step is to remove the two pentalope screws at the bottom of the iPhone. Once the screws are removed, use a heat gun to warm the adhesive around the perimeter of the iPhone. Insert a plastic pick between the glass and the aluminum body. Gently move and pick around the perimeter of the device. Remove the strains of adhesive if there are any. Once separation is achieved, open the iPhone as a book. The next step is to remove the metal shield which secures the battery connector and the two front assembly connectors. The shield is held in place with four tri-wing screws. Most screws in the iPhone are different sizes and types, so you will need to keep in mind the position of each screw. Using a tri-wing screwdriver, remove the four screws. Remove the metal shield. Using a plastic pick, disconnect the battery. This way we make sure that the phone will not be damaged or circuit. Using the same plastic pick, pop open the two front assembly connectors. Now we have to remove the small narrow shield which secures the front camera connector. Using a tri-wing screwdriver, remove the three screws. Remove the shield. Using a plastic pick, gently pop open the connector. Set the main body aside and place the front assembly on the desk. We have to transfer some important components from the old front assembly onto the new one, namely the front camera, the big metal shield, and the home button. Start with a shield which secures the home button. There are four tri-wing screws that hold a small metal shield and the home button in place. Remove the screws and set the shield aside. Proceed on removing the upper shield, covering the speaker box ribbon cable with the front camera and the proximity sensors. Remove five Phillips screws holding the shield in place. Then remove the shield. Lift the camera on its cable and set the speaker box aside. Using an X-Acto knife, carefully unglue the speaker box ribbon cable with the front camera and the proximity sensors from the frame. Set it aside. Now we can remove the big metal shield covering the LCD. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove one screw at the bottom. Then using a tri-wing screwdriver, remove the three screws on the right side and two more screws on the left side. Using tweezers, unglue the front assembly cables from the rectangular shaped piece of tape and set the shield aside. Using a plastic pick and tweezers, open the home button connector. Using an X-Acto knife, gently pry off the glued flex cable. Remove the home button. Set the broken front assembly aside. Take the new front assembly from the box and place it on the desk. Remove all pieces of protective film from the back side. Now we can mount the home button, the big metal shield, and the front camera with a speaker box on this replacement part. Start with the home button. Peel off the protective film from the front side and insert the home button with a flex cable into the hole. Make sure that the cable goes under the connector and close the connector. The next step is to mount the big metal shield which covers the LCD screen. Thread the both front assembly cables through the hole and secure them with a rectangular shaped piece of tape. Replace one Phillips screw at the bottom and two tri-wing screws on the left side, then three tri-wing screws on the right side. 
Take the garland of cables with the front camera and proximity sensors and guide each component into its slot. Replace the speaker box. Insert the camera into its slot and cover it with a top metal shield. Secure it with the five Phillips screws. Cover the home button with its metal shield and secure it with four tri-wing screws. Now we can connect the new front assembly to the main body. Position the front assembly next to the main body and reconnect the front camera cable. Replace the small narrow shield and secure it with three tri-wing screws. Reconnect the other two connectors to the logic board. Reconnect the battery. Caution, it is very important not to force any of the connectors. All connectors are extremely fragile. Replace the metal shield and secure it with four tri-wing screws. At this stage, we can test the new screen. Press the power button, and if the startup graphics appears, the front assembly is installed correctly, and we can finish the replacement process. Turn the phone off. Snap the front assembly into the case by going along the perimeter and pressing on the edges. Replace the pantalope screws at the bottom. Turn the phone on, remove the protective film, and we're done.